Hello, welcome back to Van Life Customs. So, this is Osk and Anne's van. A little over 12 months ago, he asked me to build him a camper van. He needed to be able to put his motorbike in and he liked our U-shaped design with the removable box that we use for our mountain bikes. He wanted to be able to put his motorbike in. So, we said, yeah, we can do that. He said, well, I'll find a van and then I'll get back in touch with you. So I took him over a little bit of a year to find one, but he's finally found one that was perfect for the job. And this is what we've come up with. So he gave me some, uh, he needed to get his ramp, his little port -loo, um, and then he wants a U-shape, how we normally have it. So with that, let's get in there and I'll give you a tour. Slightly different unit setup in this one. As you can see, we've got an L-shape kitchen setup. So they wanted a fridge, sink and hob, and enough space to do preparation. And the big U-shaped bed. With the bed, it works pretty much exactly the same as our T5, T6, T4, Transit style size vans. The middle bit moves, and now he can get his motorbike in. I think it's five and a half foot wide by almost five and a half foot deep. So it's like a big square bed. Um, he weren't so bothered that he couldn't fully stretch out because he said you don't sleep like a peg. Um, and he's kind of right. So um, yeah, should be fine. He asked me to make a storage compartment for his toilet. So I'll come up with this solution because this hasn't got a slide out like our transporters. We managed to hide it under a tamper door and he's in there. And that's nice and secure in there. All you do is you undo that and he will slide out and you can use him as and when you need to, even when the bed is fully made in the bed position. So we've got the fridge, we've got a sink and hob combination. We've got a single burner and quite a good sized sink. And the first time I've fitted one of these and it comes with a little draining board, which is pretty cool. So we'll start at this end. This end we have the electrical cupboard. I'll give you a quick flick in there. In here we have all the leisure battery, consumer unit, charger, 12 volt, shut off, split charge. Above that we have the control panel, a double socket, and a USB and a 12 volt socket, which works off the battery, that works off the mains. This panel here controls all your lights, your water pump, and your control your USBs. So as you can see there's a split in the worktop. I decided to make that lift up and then you've got a little bit of storage compartment there. So moving on we have a big cupboard, really big cupboard, loads of storage space. We have a diesel heater which is down the back there that was already in the van so I had to make a duct so that runs through here. This is all removable at the back here so that can be got to and it comes out here. In this cupboard we have the water and the gas. So the diesel heater is in that box just there behind. So we have the water and fresh and waste and then the gas and the gas box. Everything runs up behind. There's a nice load of space down there which allows everything to breathe. In this cupboard we have the sink. Now I was going to put a false panel there and hide that but then I thought well why? You know, if you ever need to get anything, at least you can get to everything. So we asked for a drawer. So we've got a drawer just there above the fridge. And then above this one, we've got another little drop down. And as you can see, you can get into the, the slight little bit of wiring in there as well, which is a 240 socket and a 12 volt socket, as you can see on the end there. So Ost asked me to build an overhead locker. So the plan was just to put one here like we do in the normal U-shape in the little vans. But as you can see, it's grown. And what we've done, we've put a little shelf in between for your phone, for your keys, all that sort of stuff that you pocket dump into these little shelves. Everything's safe and secure. So these lift upwards and they're on gas rams. And they all lift up exactly the same. 
and it goes all the way to the end and there you go so another thing they asked me to do was put a table on the end coming out the sliding door so they could put the stove and do the cooking outside in the sunshine so that's what we've done the table's on an adjustable leg with a little bit of adjustment sort of up and down just to give you if you're not quite on a flat surface now Oscar wanted to get his motorbike in but he needed somewhere to keep his ramp so he asked me can I come up with a storage solution for the ramp and I've done that we'll go around the back and I'll show you how that works behind the tambour door is the ramp that he uses to get his motorbike in and out so as you can see there is a box here that's where the ramp stored there's plenty of space in there this one lifts off out of the way completely so there's your storage but the reason for that is for when Osk's putting his motorbike in he needs somewhere to put his foot so with this in the way he wouldn't be able to bring his foot in so we have to make a step and somewhere to put his leg so that's the reason that comes off and then in the middle of here we have another big locker so I'm going to show you how the bed sets up can almost lay straight up a little bit of a but as you you know sleep a bit like this your head up on a cushion I think it's almost a perfect size I hope you enjoyed that video see you soon